we're asked to graph the contour plots or level curves for the given surfaces. We will be using the Exploring Multivariable Calculus site shown here, and there are two options for the 3D Calc Plotter. This first option requires Java and will not work in all browsers. We will be using the 3D Calc Plotter JavaScript app, which works on most phones, tablets, and in most browsers. Let's graph the first contour plot. When opening the app, this is always the default surface given by the function here on the left. The first step is to enter the function, which in our case is f of x comma y equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus 2y squared. We enter sqrt for square root, open parenthesis, x to the second plus 2 times y to the second, close parenthesis, and graph or enter. This is the graph of the surface. To graph the contour plot or level curves, we click on this button here, which is draw a contour plot. There are several options here. Notice how we have the first level value, which is the first value of C listed here. Remember the C values would be the constants we would set the function equal to to create each level curve or contour plot. The step size is 0 0.2, the number of contours is 11, which means the values of C start at negative 1 and go up to the value of 1 by increments of 0 0.2. And of course we can change these as needed. We can also change the color of the contour plot by selecting a different color here. Let's click Create Plot. And now we have our contour plot. Notice how the values of C are on each level curve in black. If we wanted to have additional level curves, we could change the number of contours. Let's try 13, and we will now get two more level curves after we click Create Plot, which we see here. If we wanted to save this plot, we can exit from here, click the three horizontal bars, click File, and click Save the Plot as PNG. Let's graph the second contour plot. Let's reset the app by clicking these double arrows. We are going to get the default function again, and now we'll enter our second function, which is f of x comma y equals one divided by the quantity 1 plus x squared plus y squared, which must be in parentheses in the denominator. Click Graph. Here's the surface. Let's go ahead and zoom out. We zoom in and out using these buttons. Let's click the minus to zoom out. And now let's click Draw Contour Plot. Let's go ahead and use the default settings again. But let's change the color this time. Let's select blue and then click Create Plot. And we have our contour plot for the function f of x comma y equals one divided by the quantity one plus x squared plus y squared. Let's move on to our next function, which is f of x comma y equals sine x. So we'll go ahead and close this, reset the app, enter our function, which is e equals sine x. Click Graph or press Enter. Let's go ahead and zoom out once. Notice how now the axes go from negative four to positive four in all directions. We click Draw a Contour Plot. Let's use the default settings again and click Create Plot. And here's a contour plot for f of x comma y equals sine x. Our next function is f of x comma y equals y squared. Let's exit here, reset the app, Enter the new function. Enter z equals y to the second, or y squared. Enter. Here's the graph of the surface. Let's click Create Contour Plot. Use the default settings. Let's change the color back to blue. And click Create Plot. And we have our contour plot for z equals y squared. Our last surface is f of x comma y equals the quantity x minus y squared. Let's exit this window, reset the app, enter our last function, which is z equals the quantity x minus y to the second. Graph, draw contour plot, create plot. And here is, and we have our contour plot for our last function. I hope you found this helpful.